They got to score a point now and then. In the first I know. Listen, I, Co- Coach Tom is so savvy with the media and these things. He knows what questions he's going to get asked. So he's prepared for that question. It was that was a, to me that was a boilerplate answer. It was just kind of yeah yeah we script but we're not married to it. it means you know that's he's just telling you what you know what you want to hear. But he really is saying. Yeah, we have a script, but we can adjust if we want. We don't. We're not always calling it. Is to part me, of it to me, though? That is part of anything. it a fact finding every, mission every, for everything? And for you're learning as you go on in, in these games. You're learning how teams adjust. You're learning how they with motion, or how they go do it. Um, when you count in certain formations, what kind of personnel they're going to run, offensive and defensively, right? And you go. That's how you see how good a coaching staff is. Is that they make adjustments as the game goes on, right? Um, and, and so everybody's doing that. It's not just him. Every team does fact-finding in the first several drives of the game and throughout the game. That's why adjustments are so important. But I, to me, I think that's just him just telling everybody what they want to hear. Yes, we script, but we're not married to it. it tells me that – what does that tell you? What it, well, it tells me what they're doing isn't good enough because they scored a one well, touchdown well, in but six look, games. But look, but look at what the throws. I mean, I, I've got the place here. I went through the game, and I went through because I knew we were going we to come up to this. If you look in the first quarter – Look at I him. mean, he is prepared. No, Joe. I'm just telling you. He him. is prepared. Look at first quarter. <laughs> I think he's prepared. That's in green marker you have all that. Yeah, I'm sitting there right. And listen, a lot of these things, Kenny was five for nine in the first quarter. Okay. And and the throws that were missed, the, I, I looked here the first time he was sacked. That was um, the O line slid away from Aaron Donald, right? And and um, well, in Thomas 97, said it was a fail. No one picked blitz pickup. Well, that was, was, that, that, was, that, was that was the third, that was the that was the, the the rush when he got hit and he was trying to throw down throw the ball down to to George Pickens, right? Um, there was a delayed blitz from the safety coming down, and Kenny's I believe Kenny's got to see that because when the linemen are down, your eyes are down, you're looking at your guys, you're not seeing a safety creeping down, and that was that delayed blitz where you had the corner and you had the safety coming in on. on um, and that put the pressure on him. But really, you look at it, he had some good throws there. He had an 8-yard throw. He had a 17-yard throw, a 14-yard throw, a 12-yard throw, and a 19-yard throw in the first quarter. They're close. See, yeah, I didn't think that, that it was that it was as bad. Here's another play, the one we just talked about. First of all, Najee fumbles on their second possession. But then, on the television broadcast, he had a run on that second drive where he just he tried to bounce outside. Yeah, that Do you was, have that, that written was the down? Second, yeah, it's when he he lost five yards on the play. Right. It was second and four at the, at the minus forty two or at the plus forty two. Excuse me. Right. Um, the the Rams forty two yard line, and uh, Najee bounced the ball and he didn't find it. He didn't follow. He bounced blockers. the ball, he Ron. So he so, bounced it. So here's the thing. You think about it, right? They just had a seventeen yard throw to uh, from Kenny Pickett. To, um, to George Pickens, it's not as simple as everybody thinks, right? It's not just putting blame. There's a lot of, there's a lot of I things I agree here. with every syllable you just said. And yes. then on their third drive, they had a first and goal at the Rams' eight that was wiped out by the Pickens' crackback. So exactly. that's three drives, two of which they actually yeah, moved I, it. I, I think they're, they're, they're doing much better than people think. It's boneheaded plays. Guys got to stop getting personal foul calls um, and, unless, you know, these, these, these uh, whatever you want to call them, the penalties. Um, Taunting. Yeah, whatever those are. they got to stop getting those calls. It's hurting their offense. And holding penalties hurts you. Sacks hurts you. Um, they've got to do a better job of eliminating mistakes. And Kenny Pickett's talked about that. But I think they're much closer. As I dissect the film and I go over the play-by-play, they're much closer than people think. It's, it's and not then, Yes. And then the, the, the last drive of the half, they were moving it again. Nice back shoulder throw to Pickens. And then Pickens went alligator arms like Folsey when it's time to pick up the check at so a how, restaurant. How, I mean, I, now, now, listen, people can say, <laughs> wow. well, Kenny threw it into – there were three guys in that in area. restaurant with me. Right? There were three defenders in that area, right? So, George Pickens. But still. He, he did you short arm that, that catch. Ball. He, 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 he backed short off. And he got up ball. and pointed at the guy like he knew yes. he was coming. Oh, there's no question he did that. That's not Kenny's fault, right? And You're then the right. next play, um, he threw. He, he had an incomplete pass. There's a short little incomplete pass. Um, they don't have here who he threw it to. I can't remember who it was. Intentional grounding, Kenny. Yeah, intentional grounding. So he was rushed. But to me, people are making a lot about Kenny Pickett and a lot about Matt Canada. It's, it's, a, it's an execution deal on my part. Can this be the week they get 30 points? Can this be the week? They get 400 yards, which they've never done. You know what? I, I think the momentum. Now they, they got 24 Sorry, last week, but Watts' interception set them up sure at the seven yards. Is this line. the week? Sure, because guess what? This this defense is the 31st ranked You're angry. defense that, against the pass. Before. So, you know, they're going to have some opportunities there if they can protect Kenny. I've they've actually got to do a good job with protecting him. Never been to a restaurant with you, and I apologize. What are we talking about that here? Crack. I'm sorry. Yeah. I said Pickens uh, went to alligator arms the way Folsey does when it's time to pick up the check. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Boy.
Folsy, you like that, brother? No, I hate it. It's a lie. I'm sorry. Folsy's actually a generous man, Hokey. Are you have you been known to pick up checks? If it's my turn to pick up the check, I do. Yeah. Yeah, Especially we, after he dives into the Monongahela. Oh, man. Get a thousand bucks out of it. No, That's coming no up. The anniversary's coming well, it up. It is right? coming up next month. Yeah. Maybe I watched should, maybe, that whole maybe thing. Maybe we happen. should all go do it together. You and I should do it together, Starkey. Go jump in the Monongahela. I'm worried about hypothermia. No. No. Yeah. Here's the thing you understand when it's 15 degrees outside, the water's actually warmer. So when you Hokey. jump in the water, Hokey, if I hear one more sniffle out of you, I'm going to find you a thousand and one dollars. <laughs> No, but listen, the reality is this. I, they're close, and it, it's not as simple. I don't think it's all Kenny. Um, there is blame there with Kenny. There's blame with offensive line. I think there's blame with um, the receivers um, getting penalties um, and, and drops. I, I think they, if they tighten up, it's much better than people think. 